I lived in Bollange, Sweden, I was praying to God, he showed me spiritual secrets in a vision, before I tell the visions I will say a prayer, Lord here are your soldiers, many are armed, others are not, many are fallen, but they will rise, I pray for the weak and wounded at that moment, you will raise these people, and they will use their faith as a shield to block the attacks of Satan, you will open their spiritual visions and will make these people see your supernatural events before they happen. They will no longer fill their carnal eyes, but with their faith, which will be greater than their difficulties, you will be lifted up above all their problems, their afflictions will be small compared to what you will do in their life, their victories will be great, you will act in the life of everyone who hears me. The power of the Lord is greater than the volcano wherever he goes, he destroys everything ahead of him, annihilating the traps of Satan, you destroy all the evil traps, leaving the devil defeated and ashamed, I see people now, who hear me from the other side of the world, people I do not know, nor do I know their language, but I see God at that moment, knocking down walls and crushing the enemy of their souls, and they sang and praised God. I see warriors rising from the ground in prayer and standing before the presence of the Lord, the Lord did not call them to be defeated before him, Lord, I have blessed all the hearers in your name Amen, Principalities, I saw in the vision the four corners of the world, territories of difficult access, full of barriers for the believer to enter, demons marked their territories in places in Asia and Africa. I saw a great veil covering the eyes of various peoples and languages, their wrists had chains that enslaved and oppressed them, they were Buddhist, Shinto, Hindu and the Muslim people, I saw legions that oppressed a multitude of these people, these people followed a road that in its end, had a cliff and soon falling into an abyss of fire. The Lord said, many of these people have not yet heard of me, others ignore me, they are dying and going to hell because of the blindness of their religions, the demons fight against the gospel, they do not allow the gospel to enter those places where Buddhism, Islam, and Hinduism reign, Jesus showed me the east of the earth, I could see a terrible monster, I was terrified, that demon was in the clouds, I asked the Lord, what is this devil? The Lord said, he is the ill marker, the demon who commands Islam, I saw a terrible demon named Tanhuang Dedi who commands Buddhism, this demon is also a giant, these boss demons have a mission to take care of their religion, I saw another chief demon called Brahma, who commands Hinduism, these demons are territorial, they guard their flock, lest Christians win them over to Jesus, these chief demons are under the authority of the principality of the religion, their functions were each to take care of their religion, these chief demons defended their territories, each demon of that one had an army of demons that constructed fortresses, preventing missionaries from entering those places, the Lord said that he is preparing his army, not of angels, but of last minute missionaries, who will enter these places to overthrow the walls that keep the faithful from entering, and that the guardians of these territories will be defeated when the word enters, many captive souls will be taken from the hands of Satan, this will be the greatest offensive of all time to rescue the lost souls, undoing their evil traps, plucking away all that does not belong to the devil, afflicting all the demons, I was there that night, the same angel who helped me in the last rapture appeared to me and said that he had a mission for me, Christians in hell when he said, come with me, my spirit left my body, and we went down to hell together, I saw Christians in hell who did evil with their neighbor, others did evil with animals, Jews and killed domestic animals, for all I have seen Christians in hell because they were unjust to their brother, and others were in hell for committing fraud, others forging cards, and others selling pirate objects that broke easily, damaging their customers, others making fake documents, all of them were in the hell, evil thoughts I saw Christians in hell because of hypocrisy, others were in hell from evil thoughts, they thought of sin and planned to commit sin, they died in that condition. Sexual perversions I saw Christians in hell for having perverted feelings towards their spouse and engaging in brutal sexual practices such as oral sex and anal sex, the use of objects in couples sexual relations, living a liberal sex life, Christian women seemed like prostitutes of pornographic films, and their husbands practiced these horrendous acts, all were in hell. The angel said, 
Any man who does these abominable practices with his companion, tell them to get rid of that perverse feeling, or they will be cast into hell. I saw Christians in hell who are debauched, practiced and enjoyed all immorality, such as erotic fantasies, sensuality, bizarre sexual desires, as physical aggression to increase pleasure. These Christians lived doing these practices, their carnal desires were insatiable, they sought sex first, instead of seeking God, sex was everything to them and was the basis of their marriages, they were sex idolaters and all those that were in the hell, are Christian, I saw Christians in hell for encouraging their wives to go to church in sexy attire, they encouraged their wives to walk in sensuality so that all would admire their trophies. I saw seen men and women who love to have sex with two or more people at the same time, they were in hell because of these sexual aberrations. The angel told me that even those who do not practice but have such desires in the heart, have to get free in order not to land in hell. I saw effeminate Christians in hell. They wore tight pants and tight shirts of homosexuals. Another group of effeminate Christians in hell had fiery desires for people of the same sex, they died without being freed from evil, I saw Christians in hell because they were impure in heart and minds, they were immoral, they prostituted themselves in their minds and hearts, they thought only of evil, their hearts were impure, and their eyes of darkness watched sensuality, pornography, and eroticism both immoral taking naked pictures and posting to Facebook and WhatsApp, I saw a servant of God who did the work of Lord Jesus, who is in hell, her husband threatened to end the marriage if she did not practice illicit sex, she accepted and died and is in hell, I saw a Christian approaching a young servant of God, he wanted to arouse the desire of sex and to fornicate with her, this Christian died and is in hell, paying for his immorality, the angel told me that all the unclean will go to this place, praying the angel and I came out of hell, I went back to my house, I had a few hours of rest, I bowed my knee, I went to pray, I have much intimacy with the Holy Spirit, I was going to do double the time on my knees to talk to him, I try to be 100% submissive to God in everything, I have become accustomed my body to pray, in the beginning, it was difficult to maintain this discipline. Now I am accustomed, prayer is part of my life. Praying after this vision, the Lord told me about spiritual warfare, he said, my servant prayer is the spiritual bond I have with the church, the more prayer, the more the bond becomes stronger and brings the church closer to me, the spirit of the man now unites with the Holy Spirit. He is sensitive to my voice, and sin has no power in the life of those who pray, prayer will bind the church to me and every day that union will become stronger, and separate the Christian from sin, the Christian who does not pray, his flesh becomes more attached to the things of the world and distances himself from me, prayer brings the church closer to me, prayer is the church's sign of love to me, so do your part, pray every day, tell the church even if they do not like to pray, pray anyway, the spiritual connection between heaven and earth is through the Holy Spirit that represents heaven, and the church represents the earth, where two brothers are gathered talking about me, I will be thee, and the conversation is connected to me, even if they study all the doctrines of the Bible, without daily prayer, they will not have the strength to walk in holy doctrine, your flesh will not renounce the world, for prayer will mortify the limbs of the body, every day the church fights against the trappings of the world, for that matter, pray every day, my people will fight against their own flesh and will, learn to control their self, resist the temptations of this world, deny yourself, be confident in faith, do not give up, do not be frustrated, help the weak to resist the world, those who do not resist the world, are stubborn to err, slip into the abyss, tell the church that it is by living my word that will make them overcome the air spaces, the holy church is light and where the demons are hidden, my people will shine in the dark and reveal the hidden plans of the devil, whoever obeys me, following the instruction manual of my word, overcomes the legions, do not to let pride grow in the heart, nor be exalted by gifts received, humiliation pleases me, but greatness leaves small, and the smallest always goes to be the greatest in my eyes, tell the church to intercede for the weak, prayer destroys the action of demons, cutting off the evil effects of death and destruction of the family, 
annihilating all control of the mind and heart, the prayer of the righteous has a devastating effect on the spiritual world, I have delivered many lives through the prayers of the saints, Satan has been attacking outside the church and within the church because of the sin that is invading the altars of the churches, the legions have invaded evangelical territories and won many souls, my servants have been silent and are in a comfort zone while the powers of darkness act against them and their churches and ministries, sects have worked night and day, daring to win souls, these agents do not stand idly by and act, succeeding in their actions while my church sleeps in a war, there is no tranquility, there are persecutions, war against the legions has to be constant, when the church prays, there is no distance between heaven and earth, I will be so close to them through my Holy Spirit, who determines the distance between me and my servants, are themselves, sin has also distanced my Holy Spirit from man, but the prayer of repentance and forgiveness makes my Holy Spirit approach, tell them to keep a life of prayer and I will reveal my heavenly secrets, prayer will strengthen my alliance with the church, where neither the devil nor man can break this covenant, who alone can undo this covenant is the person who made it, servant, whoever loves me, live praying, who loves me obeys my word, the prayer of a faithful one neutralizes all the traps and snares of the devil, tell the church not to rest from prayer, 